In early 2003, my mother entered a Boston teaching hospital. Within 48 hours, she was dead due to preventable errors. Here's the story. On a Friday, my mother's cardiologist told her to go to the hospital for a few days of intravenous diuretics. This was a routine procedure, and we thought nothing of it. At the time, there were no beds available, and so she was left on a gurney in the emergency room for over 24 hours. The following morning, my mother said the nursing staff had been hostile and rude during the night. It took a long time for a nurse to arrive to stop the bleeding on her right side. On Saturday, we noticed the area was turning black and blue. We brought this to the attention of the staff. They looked at it, drew a circle around it, and said they'd monitor the area. It kept expanding, and her blood pressure became erratic. The resident ordered an ultrasound, and although the ultrasound showed there was a hematoma, very little was done. A blood transfusion was ordered, but not done for 10 hours. On Sunday evening, my mother decided she'd like to take a short walk. She got up and we walked into the corridor. Within moments, she started screaming that she was in terrible pain, and we rushed her back to the room. This was the beginning of the end. In a short time, a code was called, and in a few hours, she was dead due to preventable errors. Despite the warning signs, she was allowed to bleed to death internally. My initial reaction was total disbelief. I was very angry because no one apologized or took responsibility. I also felt a great sense of guilt. I went through a list of if onlys. If only I hadn't left her alone overnight. If only I had been more aggressive in getting someone to pay attention to the hematoma that was rapidly expanding. My mother didn't die because she was old. She died because errors were made in her care. Between the time of her admission and the time the code was called, many people could have identified the problems and corrected them, but no one bothered to connect the dots. The fragmented nature of my mother's care and the lack of individual responsibility contributed to her death. Hospitals need to establish response teams, which patients and families can activate when immediate medical attention is needed. Hospitals also need to improve the supervision of interns and residents. If errors had been corrected, my mother would not have died that day.